What's up guys and welcome to Web Predications Daily Tech Tips. In today's tech tip we're learning how to create a PSN account or in full a PlayStation Network account. And a PlayStation Network account basically lets you have an online account where you can save your stuff, you can buy games, you can do all that stuff using a PlayStation Network account. Now I normally find it easier to create a PSN account on a PC than on the PlayStation itself because I find the PC a bit more intuitive, a bit more user friendly and therefore I'd rather create my account on a PC and then just go to the PlayStation or the console and just log into that account. Alright, so on a PC all you need to do is open any browser and then you want to go to PlayStation.com. So on the PlayStation.com website, click on sign in. Now I know you don't have an account yet, but this is the only way to get to the account creation button. So that will take you to this page. And don't panic when you see it's been redirected to Sony.com. It's because PlayStation is a Sony company. That's why you should see that. Now on this page, instead of signing in or putting in your email address here, simply click on create new account. So click on that button. And that should take you to the create account page. So this is where you start your account creation page. So click create and right here enter your birth date. And just make sure all the information you give here is accurate because you will need this information in case you forget your password, you need to reset your account and things like that. So just make sure the information is accurate because you can never forget accurate information. So as soon as you enter your birth date, click on next, enter your country or region. And as soon as you enter your region, it's going to automatically detect your language and then click on next. And here is where you enter your sign in details, like the details you're going to be using to sign in to this account you're creating. So enter an email address and make sure it's a valid email address that you have access to because you'll need to verify that account. And as soon as you enter those details and make sure your password strength is at least green, that's strong enough, click on next. And sometimes you might need to verify a puzzle or something for Sony to know that it's a real person actually creating that account. So click verify. Now the puzzles are going to be different for different people. Mine is pick the dice pair adding up to six. So that's three, four, that's seven. There's five and one, that's six. Four, four, that's eight. Three, three, that's six. Sure, there you go. Now on this next page, you need to enter your current country or region of residence. So do that. As soon as you do that, click next. And then you wanna enter the online ID. This is basically your PlayStation username. The one you're going to be sending to your friends to request you and play games with you. So find something creative and something unique. So I'll call mine Crenier Racing because I already have one called Crenier. And then right here is where you enter your full name. Like when someone sees your username, they want to confirm your profile and they should see your full name and confirm it's you. I'll call mine Chris Munio 2. Click next. And this is where you agree to the terms and conditions and click on create your account. You can uncheck that if you don't want to receive news, special offers and offer information. But I think I want to receive those. So I'll click agree and create account. There you go. That's it. So my account has been created and so immediately I get an email from PlayStation telling me that I've created my account and I really need to click that to verify that account so that I can be able to use it on my console. So make sure you don't miss that step. Go to your email and verify that account so that it's ready to be used on your console. Now after you do that, you can now go ahead and personalize your account if you want to. You can add things add information about you, have them send personalized purchase recommendations and things like that. But that's really it. You've already created your PSN account. And as you can see, the account is there and ready for you to use. So now every time you go to the PlayStation.com website, instead of seeing the sign up button, you should see your profile icon there. And you can click on it and change your account settings and payment management. You can redeem codes from gift cards and things like that. All that stuff is what comes with a PSN account. So at this point, you can now go straight to your console 
and simply sign in to your PSN account. Thank you for watching. You can leave your comments and questions down in the comment section below. Don't forget to share and subscribe for more tips. Until the next one, my name is Chris and I'll talk to you guys soon.